Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I bring you the first of my UU battles that I've ever had in X and Y on Wi-Fi. Uh, my opponent is a man from France by the name of Caesar. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but let's just go with that. Uh, so yes, I am bringing a team, a, a UU team that has a lot of Pokemon that I love to death. It's not a particularly good team, I will admit that. So I have Galvantula for the Sticky Web. And I have Virizion, who is awful. Virizion's an awful Pokemon, as you will see today. Uh, I have Metagross, who God hates him, or Game Freak hates him, and did awful things to him this generation. Uh, and I have Blastoise. I'm really excited about Blastoise. It's obviously Mega Black Blastoise, and I'll uh, show you the awesome stuff about Blastoise. I also have Umbreon, my like my all-star from Generation 4, um, who I love to death. Uh, so yes, I go ahead and lead off with Galvantula against his Sableye. The taunt was obvious. I wasn't going to go for the Sticky Web. I just go for the Straight Up Thunder. And the nice thing about uh, the nice thing about Sableye is it's frail. And so you see that did over 50%. Uh, now actually what happened here, the first time we battled, uh, this is the second time we battled, the first time I got uh, him parried. And um, I killed it just in time uh, for my taunt to wear off, and I set up my sticky web, and then I parried his next Pokemon. Uh, so he, at that point, uh, forfeited and said, good game, and I was like, dude, do you want to go again? We could do the same leads and everything, and he's like, yes, please. So anyway, um, we want to switch out here because the way he's playing with that Hydre uh, Hydreigon, uh, Hydreigon, um, Someone told me how to pronounce it, and I completely forgot. I'm sorry. I'm thinking it's scarfed, um, because if it were if it were anything but scarfed, uh, I could have taken it out with a bug, bug buzz. Maybe not taken it out, but done a hefty chunk of damage to it. So anyway, uh, based on the fact that he switched here, I'm guessing the scarf prediction was correct. Umbreon can wall his dark puzzles for days. Now he goes out into uh, Brittany, his Tentacruella, and at the time I was like, Brittany? That's a weird name. And then I realized, oh, I get it. It's Brittany Spears. The song Toxic. Sorry, I, my singing voice is awful. But yeah, so I was like, oh, that's clever. Um, so I'm like, I hope he's not setting up Toxic Spikes because I don't actually have a spinner on this team. But Antar, you have Blastoise! Yeah, Blastoise doesn't actually run rapid spin. Uh, I'll get to that in a bit. Anyway, he goes for knockoff. Was not expecting that. Um, yeah, so knocks off my life orb. And that's actually gonna kind of prove helpful to me. I have, if I'm completely honest. I'm thinking about swapping that out for leftovers because, yeah, just I, as I should, as you saw in the last battle I uploaded this channel, residual damage from Life Orb on Metagross is kind of horrible. I think it deals a lot of damage. Anyway, a Hyd Hydreigon, uh, I'm predicting the Dark Pulse again, and I go out into Magenta, my shiny Verizion. I love this thing to death. This th was just such a difficult RNG, and I was so proud of myself because it's Hidden Power Ice, and it sucks. Virizion just sucks as a general concept. Maybe the physical variant is better, but the special variant? Weak attacks... Oh, well, one weak attack, one attack that misses, and another attack that's even weaker than the first. So, uh, and it's just... and it gets walled by all the stuff. So I go ahead and calm mine, and I'm like, well, but now he's got Tentacruel, who's not hit super effectively by anything. And I can go for Giga Drain, and I'm like, plus one Giga Drain, maybe it'll do a decent amount of damage, and it does about a third, which is what I counted to do. And he is Liquid, who's not clear body. Um, that's pretty common, uh, but I figured, what the hell, let's try it out, and he goes for Toxic. That's fine, I have a Cleric, I don't mind the Toxic, uh, except for, and I was going to need to switch out anyway, um, but yeah, this is even with Life Orb, Frizion is so weak, so it's timid, but you need, you need the speed, although, the thing is, I've got, this team revolves around Sticky Web, so maybe I don't need the speed, but it doesn't matter. I don't think any any set of Verizion is gonna is gonna be good. So I go out into Victini because I'm thinking I don't think he's gonna go for a Scald here, and I'm pretty sure I outspeed. So he protects. I'm like that's sweet. Uh, that's really awesome. So now the question is, what's he gonna do now? He protects again, uh, and so now he's gonna see what I lock myself into. And I decided to go for the Zen Headbutt. So considering he has a Dark type on his team, I don't want to stay in because that's a, it's a free turn for him. So instead, I'm going to predict his switch out into Hydreigon. Hydreigon. I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing that again. I go out into Mick, predicting the switch. And he switches out. So good so far. Good so far. And it's Pamela. Uh, indeed, his Hydreigon. Hydreigon, whatever. Pamela. We're going to call it Pamela from now on. I have no idea 
what Pamela is a reference to. Goes for the U-turn, that's fine. Uh, weak attack, very weak attack. Further confirming this thing's gotta be Scarf. There's no way this thing is not Scarf at this point. Um, this isn't like a fake out, it's legitimately Scarf as far as I could tell in the battle and legitimately backing up, backing up later. So Agron's out here and I got a wish off. Um, and so I'm thinking, this is actually a good situation for me. Now I could go for foul play, um, but this thing's got really high defenses. So uh, even though Dark is no longer resisted by Steel, uh, so it would be neutral, uh, I decide let's just go out straight into Maryland and I'm going to Mega Evolve myself. Maryland, um, so I actually had a Blastoise named Maryland way, way back in Gen 4, uh, and I was so glad to breed a new one. Uh, completely different breed. This is actually a Gen 6 breed because for various Gen 6 only moves. Uh, it's also got the, it's also got Rain Dish because I just felt like playing with Rain Dish. So that was awesome. So he goes ahead and withdraws. Uh, that's fine. Um, he didn't, he, going for the rock polish one, I've got to wish up it was a smart play anyway because I could have protected. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve, and, uh, I'm just gonna go for, I consider the, my move options, I figure Dark Pulse should be a fairly good option. Um, should do a decent chunk, I figure, maybe, we'll see. I mean, obviously this is a defensive build, but it yeah, should do a decent chunk. Eh, it's not great. Not great. Um, yeah, and so, I, I could have stayed in and just gone for more Dark Pulses. Hope maybe for a, a flinch, but I did, just didn't want to take damage from whatever move he would do. Toxic, for instance. Um, so, yeah, he, he went for the Toxic, that's fine. Mick is now out, and I can just heal Bell everything away. Yeah, so Synchronize. Um, I mean, Synchronize is definitely the ability to have, but it just doesn't help me out today, because the stupid thing is Poison-type rather than something that would be legitimately hit by, would be legitimately poisoned. This thing, this this thing is basically a blob. And I'm actually thinking at this point, you know, I didn't want to set up, I didn't want to set up um, Sticky Web with this thing out on the field because I figured it's going to spin, because every tentacle has rapid spin. But, you know, he's shown me three of his moves so far, and none of them are rapid spin, and none of them are a water type move. So I'm like, is he really running a build without a water type move? What's more likely, no ra no rapid spin or no water type move? And I decide that I don't think he has rapid spin. Uh, now, if I'd made that decision, I should have switched out. Um, I should have switched out into my I should have switched out into my uh, Hugabug, my Galvantula, a lot sooner because Hugabug is basically the number one Pokemon to deal with this guy. Um, and especially now that Mick has lost his his leftovers and he's going to be on a slow slow route to destruction. Uh, and death. Uh, yeah, so he goes out into Pamela again, uh, and I'm going to switch Mick out, and I'm going to hope, 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 hope to get someone up to back up to full HP with that wish. And Uchikoma is fine for that. Uchikoma is great for that. So back up to full HP, but I'm going to need to switch out again because I don't want to take the ball, dark pulse. Now I figure at some point he's got to he got to start predicting this, and he's got to go for like I don't know a regular meteor. But Mick should be able to take no matter should be able to take anything. Now maybe the thing is, without leftovers, and the fact that I'm toxic, maybe not two of everything. So, um, you know, I've got to make some decisions now. I really I figure at this point I should wish. That seems like the best move, um, because my health is getting pretty low. So Agron's out now, uh, and that's not great. It's Mega Agron. It's, it looks awesome. It looks really awesome, <laughs> gotta admit. So I go for the wish. I go for the wish. Um, by the way, I had forgotten until after this battle that Mega Agron is strictly Steel type, um, is does not have uh, ground typing. So I was thinking, you know, I should get Blastoise out, and I should have it hit it with a um, thingy that a uh, uh, water attack. That would be, you know, I know filter is a thing, but um, yeah. So anyway, it doesn't matter. I switched out Magenta, thinking it would probably it's probably just gonna rock polish or something, or hit with a resisted move. No, Heavy Slam takes it out, so that sucks. So now I got into Maryland, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna go for my, I'm gonna go for a really awesome move that you're about to see, and it maybe should take him out, or probably not take. I was actually thinking take him out. Um, so he goes out into Raikou, uh, and I'm like, that's fine. Raikou is frail. This is gonna be an awesome way to show off this move. It's Water Spout. Yeah, yeah, Water Spout on Blastoise. Uh, the only way this works is because I'm running uh, Sticky Web, and you know I haven't gotten my Sticky Web up. Um, but it's it's got this really weird EV spread uh, to maximize speed uh, just above a certain speed tier, and I've got the water spout, and it means that I've got one less useful move. 
Uh, two, uh, so that's why I know uh, Rapid Spin. So it's Water Spout instead of Rapid Spin because I need the other moves for coverage. Um, so Mick, I was actually... Uh, he got a crit and Mick's dead anyway, but I, it was really annoying that he didn't die right here. If he died right here, it would have been very useful. Um, but he didn't. So, uh, I'm trying to remember what I went for here. Oh, I went for Foul Play. Ha! No, that was stupid. I should have gone for Wish. Uh, not because it would have saved Nick, but because I, the next Pokemon to come in could have gotten some HP back. Um, but Nick's gonna die here uselessly. Actually, that, that foul play got, got that, um, Tentacruel down to a decent HP for me to try to take it out with Hugabug. So, it, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it does mean I'm, I'm down to Cleric. So I, I decided I'm gonna go for Sticky Web. Because number one, he might protect. Number two, Profit. Fun. And it works out. His fourth move is Waterfall. And that does a decent chunk because I don't resist it or anything. But I figure, and now he's got enough health that he maybe can survive a Thunder? Uh, probably can survive a Thunder after this Protect right here. So yeah, probably not going to be able to take him out, but he's also going to have to do nothing but Protect to stall me. Um, otherwise he's dead. So uh, this is a, I really should have just done this a lot sooner. I could have saved Mick's health. Um, Mick would probably still be around if I just, you, you know, used Hugabug when I had the chance. So, another Waterfall, um, probably should have, well, I don't know, actually, Waterfall was probably the right move. I was gonna say, well, he should have gone for Toxic and then Protect stalled me out. But, uh, you know, I, I think the Waterfall did, was gonna do more damage because it takes Protect, or it takes Toxic a while to really ramp up. Uh, it sucks that my Cleric is gone. It really sucks. Um, yeah, so I go for Thunder here, and I'm gonna take it out. And he was like, ah, I bet you're gonna miss right here. And I was like, oh, I would have cried. I would have cried like a baby. I really would have. It just would have been the saddest thing. I would have just cried. It would have been my luck, too. Um, and yeah, so out now is gonna be Arcanine, and I'm like, he's gonna take me out with an extreme speed. It's obvious. Especially now that the Sticky Web is up. But yeah, what the hell. Kugabug, you did work. I'm very happy with you. Two KOs and a sticky web up. I am proud. Extreme speed, gonna hit me. I'm thinking, all right, I wonder what the set this is. Is this, um, this is the bandit set? Could be, could be a defensive set. Really no way to tell based on that health. I send out Maryland here. Water spout is fine, even though it was an extreme speed. I guess maybe a bandit extreme speed might've taken me fairly low, but not low enough that it would've been made, made more sense to switch up my water type moves. The other water type move, by the way, is Scald. I know you lose a little bit, you lose a little bit of power versus uh, water pulse. But that burn is so nice. It's so sweet and nice. Okay, so anyway, now out is going to be uh, Hydreigon, and I figure I can take a DM. I like I, I used to run a Hydre, uh, Hydreigon back in Gen 4, 5, sorry, excuse me, and it was it was weak as anything. And Blastoise has HP investment, and it still didn't matter, and it wasn't a crit or anything. I was like, why? What? Why? What's wrong with the world? And I even so I didn't actually do the calcs, and I should have done the calcs. And now I've got two Pokemon that are weak to Dark type moves left, and that's it. And so this is good game because I can't do anything. I don't out. I, that's a, a scarf Hydra, uh, Hydreigon, Hydreigon, Pamela, scarf Pamela. So yeah, out is going to be uh, Raikou here, and that's fine. I don't care. Assault vest is the only way, by the way, that it didn't take more damage from that water spout. It would have been epic, by the way, if I could have taken it out with a water spout there, but it, whatever. Assault Vest Raikou, interesting concept. So now Pamela is back out, and Dark Pulse, two Dark Pulses win him the bat match. So I go for I go for a Bullet Punch, just to do a little bit of damage. I didn't think it would do anything more than that, but whatever. Dark Pulse, Uchikoma cannot survive. I hate, I hate you, Game Freak. Why did you have to take away Steel's um, resistance to Dark? Why? Why do you, why do you do that? So I should probably go back to the drawing board with this team and fix it a little bit, but these are six Pokemon that I really love playing with. Um, and uh, yeah, so, okay, here I just go for the, I go for the V-Crate thinking, I actually was thinking he might switch out into Aggron, in which case it'll be neutral, but it's actually super effective. But it's actually neutral anyway, because of Filter. Um, so I don't KO, he says I, he, that his Aggron survived on one, and that's just so sad, but it didn't matter. Because either way, his Hydrogeon, Hydrogon, whatever, Pamela is going to be out next turn and will KO me. Doesn't matter if I'm at minus one defenses or minus two. So I killed, I killed Agron. So that's awesome that I killed Agron with my banded Victini. He thought it was Scarf, by the way, so that's why he was doing some switching. Um, 
but didn't, even if he were scarfed, at minus two, it's not gonna matter. So, uh, good game, good game, um, Siza. I'm sorry I'm mispronouncing it, my French friend. He, uh, he lives apparently in Paris, and I am very envious because I love that city. And not just from these games, I've actually been there, and it's, it's a beautiful city. Um, which is, like, so cliche. But well, never mind, whatever. Hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.